Hey, what's going on guys? So we are back in Unreal Engine 5. Now we're gonna be playing around a little bit in here like we've been doing all week pretty much. Uh, so this scene right here is the same exact scene for the short that I came out a couple of days ago. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I think it's pretty funny. The Unreal Engine 5 short film, go check that out. It's the same exact scene. Uh, got a couple of characters in this ancient one right here. But what we're gonna be doing today is trying to import some high poly models in Unreal Engine 5. Now, eventually, I think we are gonna be able to import ZBrush files natively into Unreal Engine 5, but right now, I actually had to get uh, Wii to, trans uh, to pretty much export some high poly from ZBrush for me so I can use it in here in Unreal Engine 5. So we have two uh, different sets. We have a 10 million version, which has 21 million triangles and then we have a 2 million version that has uh, 5 million triangles now I wouldn't even dare uh, to do this in Unreal Engine 4 because that it would take forever if I don't get any crashes uh, it would take forever probably like an entire day or something unless you all are able to do this in Unreal Engine 4 but I was not able to do this so this is kind of like a fun test so we will start with the 10 million one now this one took maybe three minutes to be imported in here, which is pretty cool. How we have it right here. Now this is a static mesh at the moment. So that means we can nanite this one. So it's kind of cool. Uh, and as you can see, man, this is running really nice. It's pretty smooth. I'm just gonna get close in there. This is, look at this. This is a little bit overkill to be honest for anything because this is so much. Look how dense that is. It's insane. You know, look look how crazy that is. Like, it's probably not going to be usable, but I just wanted to test it out anyway. And then we will grab the 2 mil. I think this is probably a little bit better. And this one has textures. Uh, whenever I apply the textures on this right here, it just does not look right. Because I think the textures is 4K, even though the store, the product page said it was like 8K. I got it from Turbo Squid. Like, they really need to... They really need to police those a little bit better because I'm having to open a lot of tickets with them. It says the 8K textures are included, but it's just 4K. Like, come on, guys. So this is the 2 mil version. Let me remove the snap right here. And as you can see, this looks pretty good. And I think I'm going to have them export a 1.2 because you can see it's still kind of messing up a little bit. It's still overkill for stuff like this, but it's just really fun to see the quality that you can pull in Unreal Engine 5, and it runs really nice. I mean, look at this thing. It's pretty nice, high quality. Now, unfortunately, this is in T-Post, and it's not rigged, but it's just, look at this. Being able to see the actual sculpt and the work that was done to this character, it's just super cool. Look at those details pretty nice I mean, like I said that two point is it five million triangles is still probably too much for this scenario uh, that being said let's go ahead and turn on nanite because this is a static mesh it's not a skeletal mesh let's turn it on and just have some fun with it a little bit so I'm gonna double click the static mesh for the uh, five million triangle and we're gonna enable it here and I'll just put 100% so it's gonna show properly in our scene now it's really cool because Man, if you've been playing video games for a minute, you're pretty much aware of the draw call, pretty much the distance, how far you can see away from your character. But with nanite technology, that's pretty much going to be gone. I mean, right now it's just static mesh, but I'm sure soon enough they're going to be able to do that in fo foliage or green stuff <laughs> like grass and trees and then skeletal meshes like characters. So that's pretty insane because I'm going to show you why. I think this is going to change gaming, period, especially like shooters or MMOs. It's just going to be insane. So I'm going to let this ride a little bit and then we'll get right back into it. Okay, so now that that's done, so this is nanite enabled, which is kind of cool. So you can see the triangle count did not change at all. 
And if we go to our show, I mean, sorry, lit nanite, and then we go to triangle, so you're gonna see that it is. Now this 10 million one is not because we didn't turn it on yet. So look at this. <laughs> it's just so cool, man. It's like the matrix or something, right? So uh, we'll turn on the nanite as well for the 10 million uh, right here. So let's remove this, change it to lit, and we'll go ahead and check this one out. Now this might take a little bit longer because it is crazy dense. It is overkill, I'm going to say, but it's just fun to kind of see this uh, high poly in Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so my system actually crashed when I was trying to nanite the 21 million triangles, so I guess that is a little bit much as far as my system can handle, so I was not able to nanite the 21 million, but we'll just put it side by side. And this, like I said right here, is plenty. This is probably still overkill to be honest, but... It looks pretty nice, although, like I said, the textures, I don't know, the texture doesn't look good. As you can see right there, it looks like kind of crappy, but I'm not sure why that is. Uh, hopefully, you know, like I said, one day we'll be able to just import the ZBrush instead of converting into a million, uh, you know, going to another software and converting it to an OBJ or FBX. So, with Nanite stuff, and I was talking about earlier that I'm kind of excited about, is that i'm gonna show you real quick okay so that's good it's on it's crazy because if i take if i take this dragon right let's say this is like a game like an open world game like an mmo and you know i would like move them around okay where did i take him right there you know move it there and then maybe i'll move it even further away to the other side let's see here man struggling here for some reason i don't know why that's pretty close still so let's add another nine in there i'm trying to get this dragon as far away as i can so this is our world and this is pretty massive as you can see i mean look at this look at this scene that i had right see that scale and <laughs> what's crazy is if i go like 500 <laughs> look at that even, even actually, even maybe 200, you know, this far away from that dragon, I can still see him. And you can kind of see where this is going to take kind of like matter later down the road. Because if you're playing like an MMO, I mean, look how far I am from this thing. Like I said, static mesh for now, but... What if one day it'll be able to do this with skeletal mesh and foliage or foliage and trees? Is it not crazy? Like for those people who roll rogues, we're going to be able to see you from a mile away. Like you can't hide anymore. We can see you. Look how far I am from that scene. That is just crazy. Now, I'm not sure how the servers are going to handle this, obviously. And look at that. I pushed it f even further. And as long as I can, you know, see something, I can still see that. <laughs> it's insane. It is, this, this nanite stuff is crazy. And I, I heard apparently this is not a new thing. Look at that. I can still see that dot right there. And just to give you a scale on how far it is, here's the four camera. I'm moving forward right now, pressing W. I mean, you can see that. It's crazy. Look how far it is. See if I can increase the camera speed. Look at that. A seven, and then I'll go with eight. There. I'm getting closer to it. And I can still see it. And that is just crazy to me. I know I said crazy a million times. Because look at this. I'm still moving. That's the little island where our scene was. And here's the dragon. <laughs> So, there's no more point of rolling a rogue in an MMO because we can see you from a mile away. <laughs> How cool is this, man? This is definitely, this is the crazy stuff. This is crazy stuff. Speaking of crazy stuff, does anybody know anyone that can rig this for me? Because this is in a T-pose. <laughs> I want to be able to use this in Unreal, but it is in, in a T-Pose. 
And like I said, the texture is really messed up. I gotta figure out why. It's just convert converting from ZBrush to Unreal is it's not the easiest. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all a little bit of uh, high poly assets in Unreal Engine 5, man. And even this much right here takes the Unreal Engine 5 takes it really well. It's pretty nice. And look how dense that is. That is crazy cool. So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 4 using the new MetaHuman characters, but don't know how to do it? Well, I got the video just for you.